Hey guys, I hope you guys are good. Um, as you all know that we've bought an RV, a really old American RV, so that we can drive from London, hopefully as far as we can to New Zealand, but we'll see. Um, it's quite run down, right? Yeah, it needs a lot of work. It's going to be a big job. Um, You're super handy though. Yeah. But you've never I've done, done a enough. couple of house renovations, but this is a different story. Yeah. We'll see how we go. Um, so yeah, we wanted to give you a little tour around the van before we start it. Um, it's just behind us there on the road. I don't know if you can see it from here. There it is. We've been in London for a long time. We haven't actually left for the last few months, so we're really excited to get away. And the whole thing about getting away is going to be, well, the next time we'll be in the RV. So lots of work to do before we actually get on the road. So we'll show you around now. Come and have a look. <laughs> there you go. Normally the steps come out, but the battery is dead at the minute, so we have to climb up. Here's one. Okay, so this is the front of the RV, or Bertie as we've been calling them. This chair rotates around, so you could use this table, but realistically we're going to get rid of that because it's just a bit crap obviously um, and that's the driver's seat I think that also swivels round but what we wanted to do or what we were talking about is putting a bench seat along here weren't we yeah so, that, so everyone's forward facing the kids in their car seats yeah um, that's the whole idea because I think if the kids are sitting elsewhere when we're actually driving they're just going to want to get up and run around so I think if all of us are sitting here and that's the rule facing forwards in their car seats that's going to be like our this is their driving time and hopefully they'll just accept that that's when we're moving we need to be sitting in the chair so that's the idea behind that oh, there's a door here as well where you can jump in and out but literally this is the uh, only other entry in and out of the RV uh, it's proper American look at the big pedals and everything um, yeah it would be really oh and of course what what do we have here conveniently positioned fridge <gasps> what will you be storing in there water or <laughs> joking Karen's gin. yeah maybe my gin for the passenger seat so yeah that is the front there's lots of overhead space here so i think oh and look at the roof look at this we're going to be testing it now today because it's raining heavily yeah, lots of little cupboards back up above. It's really spacious, like, stand up, Sean. All of this black is from Deb originally, but the guy's fixed it up, apparently, that we bought it off. And it seems to be, he seems, seems to have done, done the job, I think. Fingers crossed. So, Sean is like six foot what? What are you? Six two. Six two, and still has lots of space above his head to walk around, which is quite good. So yeah, like moving backwards, um, you can see there's still like lots of floor space there and a sofa. Our plan is to rip that out, right? Yeah, we're still, <laughs> <laughs> we're literally still tossing ideas around about yeah. everything. Yeah, so we've got the kitchen now. This is a little old kitchenette, like none of this is functioning now, remember? Um, so it all needs to be ripped out and it's all very old and manky. And obviously we're looking for something like really high spec because well you know that's what we we do in our otherwise spare time is renovate houses so we want this to be the best um, so that's all getting ripped out I'd like to make the kitchen space a little bit longer here because um, just to have a bit more space to actually prepare food and things like that you know what it's like with kids 
Um, and then I have no idea what we're doing with this space here. What are we doing with this? All ideas welcome, guys, so please do comment in the boxes below. We were talking about possibly having a little window seat there, weren't we? Yeah. What stools at it? Like a bar stool, like bar a breakfast stool. bar. Under the window. Hard to believe you fit all this into an actual van, right? There's a big fridge here. So lots of space there to put a fridge freezer. We're having lots of discussions about what fridge freezer that's going to be because I really want to buy a Smeg or a second hand one at least. Sean doesn't like them. Do you? Not a massive. <laughs> okay, moving back, we've still got lots of space guys. So here we have um, like a massive wardrobe, I don't know if you can see, with like pull out drawers that Sean's rattling around in. Um, going to rip all that out though. Yeah, so do you want to tell them the plan about that? So we're going to take all of that out. Um, and we're going to move the bathroom, cut the bathroom down. So this is the bathroom in here. The bathroom's really big. Manky, isn't it? So it's not, there's nothing like going on in here at the moment. Like, obviously, it's like we're just going to gut the whole thing, right? There was a bath in there, which is pretty bizarre. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Imagine having a bath in your van. Crazy. So yeah, this is all, this is too big. We're gonna move this right back to the line over here so we gain all that floor space. Yeah. So by doing that, we will create more, a wider hallway for a start and then more room. We're gonna do bunk beds on this wall. Yeah. And then some storage in, in between. And yeah. Things like that. The whole idea, we wanted to be able to close the children off at night time, like with a door, like between the kitchen and this um, space where there's gonna be uh, the bunk beds. So the idea was that at night time, we still have our space. That's why we went for a much bigger RV in the, in the, in the end, really. We were thinking about getting something small, but the reality is that we want to have our evening still. So we wanna close the door off at night time and be able to still have a drink or do some work or whatever like that. Yeah, so bunk beds and then this is the room. So you can see, this is a bit crazy, but we have literally got our engine underneath and it literally goes right out onto the road, which is a bit crazy. It's the beast. And here the car is going by. So that's our bed. We're gonna sleep on top, <laughs> which is mental. There's lots of windows in this room. Um, we were thinking about potentially getting rid of one, weren't we? Yeah, the back one seems kind of pointless. But yeah, but it's nice and light and airy, isn't it, as well? Yeah. But um, yeah, like there's lots of ceiling work that needs to go on underneath because I'm a bit concerned about like fumes, but you don't seem very concerned about fumes. Uh, it's fine. I'll, I'll be able to seal it off Yeah. a lot better. So this is all going to... Oh, and the other thing. <laughs> We've got a super king bed at home in our house and I really wanted to keep the mattress off it because I've got a bad hip and I just wanted like a really good mattress. But Sean's a bit reluctant to make the bed so big in here, right? We need to get a tape measure. <laughs> It's probably not going to fit. It's going to be like window after window mattress. Yeah. So but that's not really day, practical. We're trying to get Quinn out of our beds. So this is going to be our thing because at the moment we co-sleep with Quinn and we're hoping that the bunk bed is going to be super exciting for him and that he doesn't want to get into our beds. But we all know that he probably will want to still get into the bed. So having the extra space will be really good. But yeah, you can see here like all this is disgusting. It all needs to come down. It's even sticky. Um, and this store, there's still good store space, but are we going to take these out? Yeah, we'll have to if you want a super king bed in here. Yeah. And what are you going to do first? So we're going to take the flooring out today because the past owner has just put laminate flooring over the carpet, so it feels like we're walking on a sponge at the minute. Which is not really the sensation we're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So, lots of work to be done. I'm predicting a month. How much are you predicting? A month. <laughs> we have a month before we like. Come on. Need to get decent weather in Europe. I'm talking two months, at the very minimum. 
I, I would say. We need to try and do it in less. <laughs> so we can leave. So that's it guys, that's what the inside looks like. So it's super exciting. Um, I've always like wanted a van more than I've wanted a house. So we're gonna put a lot of effort onto the inside. We were always just painted like previous houses white and put like wooden floors in, but I'd like to be a little bit more adventurous and exciting because we're not planning to sell this on to anybody. So I'd like to put really, big van, our own touch onto it and to make it super personal and really nice. So. Fingers crossed we can get it really good, right? Yeah. Do you really think it's going to take two months? Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, it's like the beginning of August now. I don't know anything about mechanics or electrics, really. So there's, there's a couple of jobs that are going to have to be done by someone externally. Yeah, I know that, but just get on Which with it. Which is just... <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I mean obviously we've got two little kids, I still work in the hospital and it's like summer holidays, we do have an au pair but like um, it's going to be difficult just to get the time to do it but we just need to do our best like to get it done as quickly as possible so we can get out of here and have a little bit of the summer slash autumn still in Europe because otherwise it's going to be winter and really cold so that is what we're fighting, what are we fighting? We're fighting winter! <laughs> That is the main thing, just to leave so we can have a little bit of nice weather as well whilst we still have it, right? Yeah, that's the plan. Excellent. Cool. So yeah, guys, stay tuned. Please subscribe below, hit the big red button um, because we're going to be doing lots of vlogs and we'd love you to subscribe and follow along. The next video will be showing some of the pro progress with the renovation. So stay tuned and thanks for watching. Bye. 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 <laughs>